Good morning, I'm Nikki, the Obsessive Bookseller. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to episode two of my Incomplete Series Challenge. This is a challenge I'm running for my patrons, but you're welcome to join along as well. The intent of the challenge is to continue a lot of the series that I've been stalling on getting back to, whether it be an intimidation issue or a time issue, but more often than not, it's a time issue. I just have way too many things going at once. My list of incomplete series is quite extensive. I haven't included everything on this particular challenge, but just the better ones, like the things that I'm reasonably sure I'm going to give at least four stars to, for the most part. In any case, the first book that was chosen was Fused by Juliana Baggett. It's the second book in the Pure series. And for various other videos that I've filmed, I've been threatening to continue this one for quite a while. So this is a very weird dystopian world. Some sort of apocalyptic event took place, and after the flash, people were fused to whatever objects or people they happened to be standing by at the time. So you have people walking around attached to things, attached to animals, attached to, like, inanimate objects, like all sorts of really random, bizarre things. So the world is incredibly gritty, and I think that grittiness factor and the weirdness factor is the only reason why this one was not shelved in young adult, but rather in fiction. The publishers kind of make that call, and I agree, it is a bit too gritty for your average young reader, but aside from that grittiness, the story is reading very much like a YA from a love story aspect, from a plot simplicity aspect. And unfortunately, this book read very much like a middle book. Incidentally, I had started the series about 10 years ago and made it all the way to this point about halfway through this book and put it down, and I've been kind of beating myself up, like, why didn't I just push through and finish the book? Like, then I could have just, like, closed out that series, read the final one, and not have to carry around, like, I wonder what's really going on for the last decade. But after picking it up the second time, I know why I put it down. It's kind of a pointless book. There are a few key things that happen at the very end of the story. But most of it is just kind of sitting around and talking, like wasting time essentially, and characters just thinking about each other, and over-sentimental romance elements. So I did this one on audio, and I had no problem speeding it up to almost double without feeling like I'm missing anything. But you know, my least favorite thing about this book, in the first book you were introduced to a character who is very erratic and unpredictable and kind of eerie because of that. And I just thought the profile was so interesting. But in this book, she took that same character and softened him up quite a bit and, and kind of placated him. And it didn't feel like a character growth arc, you know? Like, when someone's unhinged, they don't just suddenly become not unhinged. And there were still elements of crazy in there, but like I said, it, like, the direction she's going with it, it kind of turned him a bit sappy. And I didn't like it at all. So when you have very YA characters who all seem familiar, and then you had one really good kind of interesting different one changing him to kind of fit the mold a little bit more didn't do the book any favors. At this point, I'm not even sure if I care enough to figure out what's really going on in this dystopian world and how it ends. I probably will do the final book at some point just because, like, I, I just can't stand it. I've, I've been dragging the series along so long, I may as well just finish it. But I am very pointedly not adding it into the draw for this week. Like, I couldn't stand it if I had to read another one going forward. So, this book was like a 2 out of 5 star. Maybe 2.5. Like, it was more than just okay, but I'm not sure if I actually liked it or not. Other books you might like in that same vein, the characters most reminded me of the ones in Divergent. And there's kind of like this weird atmosphere of, like, otherworldliness that I thought this one captured pretty well. And this one was a much better series, except for the last book. I didn't really like the last book too much. Weirdness Factor, Control by Lydia King. Interestingly... The doctor is a medical doctor by profession and took a lot of that stuff that she knew about the medical field and put it into this dystopian world. And the weirdness factor, like the weird things that have been done to these people's bodies in the name of dystopia, very similar. And this was kind of just an interesting book. So if you liked that one, I think you really like this one. One called The Fall by Kat Richardson, something like that. That one had a lot of weird elements also. Um, I don't believe the trilogy was ever finished. There was only two books in the series, and I think it got dropped, but probably because of the weirdness factor. So if you read this and just loved, like, how bizarre it was, that one would probably be a good one, too. Only I thought the adventure and action was a little bit better in that one. 
And then finally, a personal favorite, Wither by Lauren DeStefano. This one captures that eerie feeling of a dystopia really well, and it adds the bizarre elements without making it feel hokey or ridiculous. And I don't even remember the love story in this one. It's a YA trilogy, so I'm assuming it had one. But the fact that it's not like ringing a bell means that wasn't the most prominent thing in the story. So it's probably a good thing. So like, if you like the idea of weirdness in this, but want something that's written a lot better, I like this one. So now it's my favorite part. Time to pick a different book. Now, here's the thing. Full disclosure, I filmed myself drawing another book a couple of days ago because I just couldn't stand it. Like I had finished Fuse. I knew I wouldn't have time to film this update anytime soon, but it was driving me crazy. I had to know what I was reading next. So I drew Children of Memory, and this was one of the few that I was planning to buddy read with my patrons. And so I'm still going to read this one. We're going to set it up, but I'm also going to draw another one so that I have something to report on in a couple weeks. This is a really nerve-wracking thing for me because there are some absolute winners in here, things that I am dying to read, and some other things that I'm just, I'm dreading that it's going to be picked. Like two or three of them that I know I should continue the series, but the idea of actually committing to them is just really uncomfortable. So it makes it really exciting, but I also, I'm hoping this next couple of weeks is going to go well. <laughs> All right, I got one. Okay, okay. That's not as bad as it could be. So Django Wexler's Shadow Campaign series, book two, let me go get it. Okay, here it is. The second one is called The Shadow Throne and I'm halfway through it. Uh, I got fed up with plot ideas. I like the basic writing. I generally like the author, but he had a lot of things going on that just felt forced. Like, why were these specific people in this specific place to see this? He would have been better off getting a new cast of characters, in my opinion, to tell the story because they didn't fit. They were like plucked out of the army and put in this like political royalty situation. And it, and it was just annoying me. It was one of those situations where I knew I wanted to read the series, but it was just on the verge of annoying me so much that I started nitpicking it. And so I put it down, thinking I would probably come back to it, but I would have to be kind of forced to come back to it. So here we are. I don't think I'm going to start the book over from the beginning. I think it has been more like within the last two years I've read it. So just going to pick up right where I left off and see how far that gets me, see how much it annoys me. I don't know if I'm going to remember all the characters particularly well, but we'll see. He didn't add any new ones. He just used the old ones and recycled what they were doing and kind of gave them some new context. So, yeah, should be okay. So, we'll see how that one goes. So, thanks for joining me on this update. If you've been running this challenge with me, let me know what you read over the first week and what you plan to read going forward. Are you doing the random thing as well? It's been scary, but fun. Thanks for joining me on this one, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.